Hi and how are you all today? The question says A, B and C are engaged in a printing business. A being the working partner receives 10% of the net profit as salary. The remaining profit is divided among themselves in the ratio 4 is to 5 is to 9. If A gets in total rupees 3 lakh, find the total profit in the business and the shares of B and C in it. So here, first of all, let the total profit B, rupees X. Right. Now, it's given to us in the question that since A is a working partner, he receives 10% of the net profit as salary. So, salary given to A is 10% of the net profit, that is rupees X. So, we have the answer as Rupees X by 10, that is the salary which is given to A. Now, we need to find out the remaining profit as it is what we are going to distribute among them. The remaining profit is total profit, that was X, minus the salary which has already been given out of it, that is equal to rupees 9X upon 10, right? Now we are given that we need to distribute this remaining profit among A, B, and C in the ratio 4 is to 5 is to 9. The total, the sum of the ratios is 18. So we need to find out A's share, B's share and C's share out of this remaining profit. So it will get multiplied by 9x upon 10. And we have now the answer as Four X upon twenty, five X upon twenty, and nine X upon twenty. Further, total share of A is given to us in rupees as three lakh. That means his salary that was X by 10 plus his share in the remaining profit in total gives him rupees 3 lakh. So with the help of this equation we can easily find out the value of X. That is equal to 2X plus 4X upon 20 equal to 3 lakh. That further implies 6x upon 20 is equal to 3 lakh. That further implies x is equal to 3 lakh into 20 upon 6. Let us simplify it. So we have the answer that is X, the total profit of this business as rupees 10 lakh. Right. So we can write down therefore total profit in the business is Rupees 10 lakh. Further, we need to find out B's share in this total profit 
and his share in this total profit. So it is. Five x upon five upon twenty into x and x values we have found out as ten lakh. So it is five upon twenty into ten lakh and nine upon twenty into ten lakh. Which on simplifying will give us Rupees two lakh fifty thousand. That is B's share in this profit, and rupees four lakh fifty thousand. That is C's share in this total profit. Right. So this was our required answer to this question. Hope you understood the whole concept well and enjoyed it too. Have a nice day ahead.